Hey guys, welcome back to Girls Have Press Talk. This week we're talking about love in lockdown. Lockdown in love, were you in love in lockdown? That is the oh, question. Imagine being locked I'm locked up, they won't let me out. you got to get out. They won't let me out. Got, um, so we know a lot of people who got into relationships in lockdown, mm-hmm. got out of relationship. relationships yeah. in lockdown. We know a lot of people that got in and out of that same relationship. All in lockdown. All in the same lockdown. All in the so same lockdown. it's a lot. It's been a lot. We've had a lot of time to, for those of you in relationships, you've had a lot of time to spend one on one with that partner of yours, you know. And it's time to discuss it. I feel like we're coming out now, hopefully. Yeah. Boris. Um, so Boris, if you let us down, I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. <laughs> I'll be probably, probably angry. <laughs> um, so I think it is time to discuss love in lockdown because yeah it was a lot of you know we spoke about self-love we have done was was that a way of like finding new love as well like part of loving yourself did you then feel like you were able to love again and then yep. realize maybe you weren't ready to love again yeah um, who knows who knows who knows who does um, know but i think for a lot of people it was a time of self-reflection um, and getting into relationships may have been like, I don't know what this is like. It's not, it's been a while. Yeah. And I also feel like now that we're like talking about it, the whole s- dating scene has changed dramatically. I know people that were going Ooh, on online. Zoom dates. Yeah. Like you're not even meeting the person like, in person. Like what if you meet or them just, and. like FaceTiming someone that you've met like, once. Yeah. And like just FaceTiming them a lot and like. Completely different. On a screen. Yeah. But also, like, Tinder and that was already available and being widely used before lockdown. Yeah. But I feel like that was heightened a lot. Definitely. During lockdown. Um, so was that a way of, like, oh, that's the only way I can connect with someone is through my phone, like, yeah. texting or talking? Do you think that could maybe have impacted the time in which someone felt it was necessary to get into a relationship? Yeah, because I feel like... As well, I've heard a lot of stories, like, of people getting into relationships quite quickly because they wanted someone to spend the time with mm. in lockdown. Yeah. And I also feel like that is kind of a negative and a positive all in the same time because you get to know that person so quickly that you, you know... Really. Do you know what I mean? Like, you don't actually get well, to like, know w- them. Well, when you're spending a lot... I mean, like, the, the couples that have been living together. Yeah. And, like, say if they've not been together that long and one of them was like, oh, I'll I'll come and spend lockdown with you. Yeah. Like, sometimes that was either make or break because they were either getting to know the person, like, way too much and they're like, oh, you're annoying, like, get out. Or they're like, oh, my God, I love you so much. We're so compatible. Yeah, like, we're the best couple. Like, how has this only just happened? Um, Yeah, I think so. But I also think it probably rushed people into thinking they wanted things that they didn't really want. Yeah. Just because they, they didn't want to feel a bit, bit lonely. Like, or or maybe something good did come along, but it wasn't as good as you thought because yeah. you hadn't had something for quite a bit of time. Yeah. That this seems like, oh wow, amazing. Um but I think just take your time with relationships. Like you can't be hopping into them because you will hop straight back out. Yeah. Speaking from experience. Like, it's just... <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it is real. Well, in the first lockdown, I was... Because, obviously, I went home for the lockdown. Yeah. Because otherwise I was going to get stuck in England. Yeah. Me and my boyfriend didn't see each other for five months. Yeah. That is the longest in our Almost whole, like, half, three yeah. years of our relationship that we had not yeah. seen each Crazy. other. Crazy times. And it got exhausting, like, having to face, like, have a relationship over purely FaceTime. Yeah. It is not the one. What, what can you possibly... Like, what were you talking about on FaceTime? Honestly. Or even these dates, like... Imagine your internet connection just froze and you just looked ugly. Oh, don't even say that. No, I would like, actually... Your boyfriend, like, it doesn't really matter that much. Imagine you're on a first date with someone on FaceTime and you just end up stopping and you're like... You'd be like, me... Oh, you know when people, like did those dinner dates and they cook the same thing and they're eating and you'd be like this but you've got spaghetti like dribbling down <laughs> your face <or> <laughs> awful that'd be but horrible that would actually be horrible <laughs> but I think um, 
Well, we asked we asked people, didn't we? Do you want to? Read yes, out let me the get there. You, you know, know we, we love, love our polls. <laughs> um, yeah, we just asked our followers <clears throat> what did they think about love in lockdown. I just asked some questions, hoping to get some kind of personal responses uh we're trying to get that tea did, yeah did lockdown make or break your relationship are you so it's still in love answering that question did lockdown make or break your relationship 65 percent said make which i was very surprised at that's nice that's yeah no really way. lovely because i know some people didn't work 35 percent said break and i, I wonder, also understand that i wonder we didn't ask there was a lot to ask in order to get like very specific figures yeah but i wanted to know out of those that it broke their relationship Mm. were they new or were they like because imagine you've been together for five years and it literally just took like the pandemic to break you up well i was watching um don't give me hate for this because you know i like my shit tv i was watching geordie shaw ogs where it like followed them like after geordie shaw so um Aaron the one who's got all the tattoos yeah, yeah. him and his girlfriend had been together for like maybe three years or something like that and then lockdown actually broke their relationship really? and they had a child a newborn baby yeah children involved I just could worst gives me anxiety yeah same but I would say I'd quite like to know whether like the people that it made their relationship did they have really hard times where they're like or mm. don't know if I'm going to make out of this. But then they came back stronger and then they're like, oh, I, love, I really so. love that person. By me asking that question, I meant, like, did it really break you to the point where you were just like, I just can't live with you anymore, like yeah. I said earlier? Or did it make you, in terms of you overcame so many little squabbles or just the that fact it that you actually to see each other and it made you stronger? Yeah. Um, we also asked, have you remained single throughout the pandemic? said they were actually in a relationship and 48% said they were single. That's nearly half and half. It's very, very close to half and half. But then the question afterwards. Oh, yeah. So did you get into a relationship in lockdown? 30% said yes and 70% said no. So the 30% that said yes... I'd like to know how you got with that person. Did you ha- did you do like the Zoom dates and then you like met each other and then you felt like wildly Don't enough? There was that free time. Do you know what I mean? When lockdown eased. Yeah, no, we that's what I mean. Out, eat out to help out and all that. That's what I mean. Like, did yeah. you do the Zoom dates up until then? And then you met them in person. And you're like, oh my god, I'm in love. Be my husband. And then I, I went with the second. No, I, I went with the latter. No, what you're talking about. Like, I met them in person. Oh. But it was still during lockdown, do you know yes. what I mean? Because although restrictions had eased, we were still in between lockdown one and lockdown yes. two. Um, so mine was, yeah, like, not Zoom dates or anything. Yeah. That's what I mean, like... I can't lie, when I saw my boyfriend again after five months of being apart, I was so like, who was this person? Wait a minute! Who are you? Oh, I thought you were going to be, like, all nervous and butterflies. No, I was. Yeah. I, like, felt like 18-year-old me again. But mm-hmm. I was, like... For the first time. Yeah, but I was, like, oh, my God, I don't think I can I share actually, my bed with I you. I actually think it would have broken me. Being really? Like, if I was in a long-term relationship before lockdown and I physically couldn't see them... Yeah. Well, we, were, we were always used to long distance anyway because yeah, I true. always lived at home. But I was a bit, like, don't think I can share my bed with you. I don't think... I can. I, I've got. I've got two used to sleeping on my own. Honestly, own, I, I need my myself. own space. Like, can you like, sleep more sober? <laughs> <laughs> like, Please oh. don't hate me for this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we also asked if yes, are you still in a relationship with them? So forty three percent said yes, they are still in a relationship with the people they got in relationships with in lockdown. And 57% said no. Interesting. Which is interesting because... Over half of you out there. Because in lockdown, you may have spent a lot of time together with them. Because I know of some people who actually moved in with their other halves for the lockdown. Fully for it. Yeah. Mm. Like, to spend all that time together, which I just don't think I could do purely because I like my own space. It's not realistic. It's not. You and I feel like a that. relationship needs the time to build to like, okay, so you've been going out for however long. 
like what say three four years Mm -hmm. and then you potentially start to move in together slowly it becomes it's like yeah it's not we've been together for six months living together now this global pandemic we're going to lose each other let's live together we're gonna get attacked by aliens we have to protect ourselves yeah like it's, yeah it's not plausible no it's not the one um and then we also my eyes i've not got my glasses on i'm so sorry i need to hold my phone closer has the pandemic affected your view of relationships 87 percent said yes and 13 percent said no and by that we mean has it made you think actually do you know what i'm quite content being on my own i can do this now i can yeah. do this because i have done it mm-hmm. um so that's a lot of people saying yeah I think what I'm. Did you say eighty-seven percent? Yeah, eighty-seven percent. I said I'm definitely one of those people. Like it has changed my view, but not in a bad way. Mm. It's just made me feel more independent in myself and not depend on someone else so much, yeah. and just learn to be by myself and chill by myself and like do my own things yeah. that make me happy, and not depend on someone else for my happiness because that is one of the worst do things think you could more do. Relationships were formed during lockdown. That would be interesting to know, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like more, well, I don't even know if that would be, like, a statistic you could work out or find out. Like, were there more relationships formed in that short amount of time than there would, regardless of... I feel like there definitely time. was, because people had, like, their phones on 24-7. No one was working. We had nothing to do. And if you were working from home, really, you weren't working from no. home. Like, especially I mean, in the like, first lockdown. shout out the essential workers, in Oh, like, yeah. You were out working. Of course. But... For people like us that even like you knew everything was called short, school was called short, like this is probably gonna go out more to people our age or younger. Yeah, I'm very getting true. into relationships. Yeah. Um but actually I do know of even like older people just meeting up for park walks. Yeah. Um, well I know someone who met this person like the year before no, months before lockdown. And then they were talking throughout the whole entire lockdown. And then they finally met. And it was just like, no. Oh, really? Yeah. Imagine wasting all that time. Oh, A long time as well. Don't have the time anymore. No. If you're, if you, no, I'm just not interested. No, honestly, I cannot, I could not ever in my life handle another talking stage. What is your favourite colour? I don't care how many brothers or sisters you <laughs> have. I don't care when you last went on holiday. Like, I actually don't. What's your favourite food? Just, just let's go on holiday together and have fun. I don't know about that because I'm very picky about who I've gone on holiday with. You're in the sun, you're in a bikini and you're drinking... Yeah, and what if they're like... Why do you care? Hello, what if they're a freak who, like, bites their toenails? Yeah. No. You don't think about those things, do you, Robin? No, I don't, because why would I even be talking to someone that I thought bite, like, bit their toenails? Well, you, they're not going to tell you, like, oh, hey, I bite my toenails. I feel like I'd be able to look at someone and be like, he looks like a weirdo, he looks like he bites He looks toenails. like a toenail biter. Yeah, that's actually really quite gross to think about, to be honest. <laughs> You're really weird. <laughs> I just overthink things. You do, you do. But no, I think um, being in a relationship during lockdown... A very mad experience but definitely a test i would i would definitely say like it really tested the boundaries of what you can hack and what you can't hack mm. because even people who were in england sometimes their parents wouldn't have been comfortable for that other partner to come over so they wouldn't have seen Rona. yeah they wouldn't have seen the other person yeah. even though they might have lived like down the road and even just for like not parents like the actual people in the relationship like it's it was just, it was very alien, kind of meeting people yeah. or, or, well, in my case, meeting someone after, like, just not being out of your little house bubble. Yeah. Very odd. Mm-hmm. And then we were all forced into restaurants to have 50% of food and, like, everyone was just on top of everyone. We now, didn't have that in Jersey. Now we're in this position. Oh, yeah. We did Jersey, clever. Yeah. Wow. Clever. Wow. And anyway, we're going off topic now, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we are. So, um, we're not going to talk about corona today, because... No. That was that was love in lockdown. Um, a very interesting topic because we found out that a lot of people got in, got out, and a lot of people stayed in. Yeah, and a lot of people are like have learned way more about relationships during lockdown than they like would have the normally. People were probably the ones that just remained single. They managed to dodge it, dodge bullets. Yeah, I don't know though because people in relationships put up with a lot. 
true. In the lockdowns. I think it tested us all, to be honest. Yeah. Still testing. Exactly, still, still testing. testing I don't think the testing times will ever go low in a relationship. No, that's very true. Ever. <laughs> um, so yeah catch us next week for another episode of Girls Like Us Talk and in the meantime please follow Girls Like Us Talk at uh, on Instagram at, at Girls Like Us Talk Girls Like Us Talk <laughs> and um, keep up to date with Pi Radio UK on Instagram as well yes um, and we'll see you next week bye bye, bye.